Hello. Testing. One, two, three. One, two, three. So it's the top line not going to the meeting? No, no, no. Okay, okay. Ready? Is everyone ready? Is it on? Is it on? Good evening, everyone. God bless you. And then we just want to welcome you again to our Friday night uh, youth service. And, uh, you know, when I say youth, I don't mean anybody like in young age. I mean young in the Lord, young young in God, and, and so we just want to uh, encourage you to stay tuned, and for this Sunday, you know, at 1030, we're going to be talking about the wisdom of God, and so, or God's secret wisdom, and so I invite everyone to come this this, this uh, Sunday at 1030, watch us live, but you know, before we do anything here tonight, we want to we want to open a word of prayer, and then we're going to sing some worship, and then we're going to get into the word, okay, and uh, uh, Andy Jr., Pastor Andy Jr. is going to be sharing the word, and so we're going to stay tuned, what you want. I'll be watching here in the audience, and so, we're just going to have a good time in Jesus tonight. Amen? Amen. So by your heads, right around, let's pray. Father, we just thank you right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, again, we pray that you be with us tonight, God, as we, Lord, that we dig into your word. We pray that you would spring revelation, God, that you would speak to our hearts. And God, we look to you. We look to you, the author, the finisher of our faith. And I pray that you encourage each person here tonight watching as they watch on the internet, God, it's live streaming. And Lord, we pray that you just, Lord, work out every detail, God. God, that there'd be a good stream and there'd be, there'd be no electricity problems or anything. But God, that you take full control. And Lord, again, we love you. We thank you. We give you praise and glory. And in Jesus' name, we all said, Amen. Amen. Well, praise God. Let's worship the Lord here tonight. And God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, I said, down a bit. Lord, God, thank you. Just say it. He's 
Thank you all for joining us tonight. Amen. We have four viewers, like you see on the 
screen there, is it, or, or is it updated? <laughs> okay. You know, wherever you're watching, probably just want to welcome you, amen. Oh, um, this is Christian Assembly Church in the Kern River Valley, and um, we are just we want to welcome you tonight, amen, to our Friday night Bible study. And i got to unlock this iPad before I get started. Hallelujah. Let's open our Bible up to Psalms. I have the privilege uh, of sharing tonight. And this is one of my favorite scriptures. You know, I believe in this, in these times, and these the times that we're in right now, it's it's more essential than ever to trust God in, in, in this time, in a time like this. And remember that God still has something for you. God still has promises for you. God still has a, a destiny for you. He, he has a plan for you. Amen. Even though we're in this situation right now, it's not always going to be like this. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There's a light at the end of the tunnel. There's, there, we're going to make it out of this. So tonight I want to share a scripture that's very close to my heart. And in, in, in rough times and hard times, God gave it to me and it still gives it to me. And he speaks to me through this, through, through this scripture. So in, in Psalms 119 and verse 49. My page is turned. One nineteen, and the word of the Lord reads: "Remember your word to your servant, for you have given me hope. My comfort and my suffering is this: your promises preserve my life. The arrogant mock me without restraint, but I do not turn from your law. I remember your ancient laws, O Lord, and I find comfort in them. Indignation grips me because of the wicked." who have forsaken your law. The decrees are the theme of my song. Wherever I lodge in the night, I remember your name, O Lord, and I will keep your law. This has been my practice, and I obey your precepts. Let's pray. Father God, we come before you tonight, God. I pray you just take full control of this message, that whoever's watching at home or wherever they may be at, God, that you just touch them right now. You speak to them through your word, God. That the word, We know the word of God doesn't go void, God, that it penetrates, Father God. The, 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 the very heart, God, that we're, we're, where doctors even can't get to, Father God, into the soul. We give you all the glory, God, all the honor. Do to you alone, because what you're going to do tonight. We love you, and we thank you, Lord. In your name we say, amen. Did the camera look all right? Yeah. yeah. That's fine, yeah. It looked low, higher up. That looks short. <laughs> that's right. Amen. Did it look all right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. So tonight I want to share with you this, this, this scripture. I, I hold it very dear to my heart, because in in hard times and hardships, we got to remember that God gave gave us a promise and, and still gave us His word. Amen. That we can that we, that, that we can um, rely on and, and, and put our faith in His word. And so, whatever you're going through, wherever time of life or, or whatever situation you're in right now that, that you're in, the, the God has the answer. Are you hearing what I'm saying? God has His His very word to give to you. Amen. So, I want I want to bring out five things tonight that we can benefit from rem- remembering that the, what the word of, word of God brings to us. Are you with me? So number one, remember God's word gives you hope. In this world, there's, 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 there's not much hope. Are you hearing me? Even for people that, 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 were, that were considered outcasts or, or, or down and out, there, there, there wasn't much hope. But when we, when we came to the Lord, he gave us that hope that we can hope. And even when we're in hard times, even when we're in struggles, even when our bodies are not well, even when we're, we're hurting, God gives us that hope and that assurance that he, that he can turn it around. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So God's word, it, it gives you hope. And what, is it all right? <laughs> We're fixing the camera. We have technical difficulties. Sorry. Remember that God's word gives you hope. And, and, and the same, let me see if I can put the mic here. The same God that got you through yesterday is the same God that's going to get you through today. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And like, and like I said, what we're living in right now, it, it feels like a hopeless time. There's a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear. A lot of people can't sleep. Our, our, I, I've seen on, on, on Twitter a lot, a lot of people's sleep schedules are all messed up. A guy that I know that streams, he said he was supposed to stream yesterday, and he said I couldn't because my sleep schedule is all messed up because we have all this anxiety and all this worry. We watch the news and we see all this bad news. It's, it's never good news on the news, right? They're never telling you about what God, what God's doing, about God healing the blind or healing the sick or turning lives around. But we always hear this bad news, and it can give us anxiety. It can it can give us a depression to think that there's no way out. That we have no hope. But let me tell you, in this time and, and in these circumstances, we have the greatest hope, and that is in Jesus Christ. And we got to put our faith in that. In those times that we that we 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 can we we can um have peace. When we read His Word, it, it gives us that peace that surpasses all understanding. We don't just say these scriptures just to say them to quote them, but these scriptures have power, and they give us that peace that surpasses understanding. People can't understand how can you be so at peace at a time like this? How how, how can you be? Because we know who our God is. That's why we know that we can stand on His Word. That this ain't the end for us. But it's, it's God still has a plan. He still has a destiny. He has a plan 
to give you a hope in the future. He has a plan to prosper you, not to harm you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So even though all this chaos is going around, uh, on around us, even when we go to the store and, we, and you can feel the anxiety there, well, we can have the peace of God knowing that God is with us. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And that's the hope that we have. God's word, in, in those times of struggle, in those times of heartache, in, in those times that we're in right now, this very minute, we can remember the word of God that he gave you. Remember the word that he gave you. Remember that promise that he gave you. Because I still have promises that God gave me that I haven't seen come to pass. And I can say, I, I, I know that God is not a man that he should lie. Hello. He, he, he's not going to let me down. He, he, he's not going to fail me. So I want to go through the scripture here. We look here in, in verse 49. And again, the fans turn my pages. My comfort in my suffering is this. Your promises preserve my life. The word of God gives life. See, once we, we, we weren't just um, 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 people that, 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 that um, um, just ordinary people that wanted to be great. Or, or how would I say it? I have it written down here. I wrote it down. I read my notes. We weren't just good, a good person that needed to become a great person. You were a dead person that needed life. Yeah. And that's what God's word does for us. It gives us life. Not just a life, an abundant life. That's what his word says. Mm -hmm. So that even in these times of crisis, that when, 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 when we're going through times of crisis like this, that, that people can look at it and say, wait, there's something different about that person. They, they, they're, they're, not, they're not panicking like, like, like the rest of the world are. They're not going through like how, how, how Jojo down the street's going through it or, or, or the guy across the street, but we're going through it with that peace that surpasses understanding. That's why we could have a time like this and we could be at peace knowing that God has our best interests at hand. That, that promise, that, that hope that he's given to you, remember it. Don't forget in those times that you're up at night and you're battling in your mind, remember there's a great hope in Christ. Are you with me? So God's word gives us hope. The second thing he gives you is life. Before we were dead men, we were, we were destined for the grave. Like we shared last week about the resurrection. Before we, 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 um, um, we were destined for, we were how bound? We had no life. We were destined for death. But God's love, because he loved us so much that he gave his only begotten son, that we may have life and life to an abundant life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And so, no longer are we, are we dead in sin, but now we have life in Christ. Are you hearing me? So no matter what your situation is, you got, that's something to be proud about. Are you hearing me? Even if, if we ain't got enough toilet paper, even if we, got, we have no kitchen roll right now, or kitchen, what do you call it, kitchen towel? Kitchen towels right now. Hello. Our baby wipes. Come on. But there's a peace that, that surpasses understanding that, and that's the peace knowing that we have this life, and life in abundance. Even though you may not have all the... You might not be the richest person, are you hearing me? You might, you might not have the, the, the latest iPhone or the latest phones out, come on. You may not have the, the newest car, come on. But we have the peace of God, that life that he gives us, that new life. And knowing that when all is said and done, when this, when this life passes away, when, when those material things fade away, come on. How do we know? Because money won't, money won't satisfy you. Money will only satisfy you for that day. Material things only satisfy you maybe for a couple of weeks until you get bored of it, right? But let me tell you something, nothing will ever satisfy you like, like God, and he gives us that life. Nothing ever satisfies you like, like, like his word. And many times we, 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 we search our whole lives for something that will satisfy us, and when all along it was, it was God's word. And this writer can see that. He says, my comfort is, in, in my suffering is this. Even when he's suffering, is this. Your promise preserves my life. The arrogant mocked me without restraint. I like that part because you know how, how it is, especially, you know, being a Christian, it's not, it's not always easy serving God. There's ups and there's downs, and sometimes there's more downs than there's ups, right? But no, and even sometimes you look, you say, why, why, well, God, I'm serving you all my life, Lord. And, and, and why, am I, why, why is it still a struggle? Why am I still going through this stuff? And you look on Facebook, Facebook's the great deceiver, hello. <laughs> or you look on Instagram, it's the great deceiver because anybody can post a picture, of how rosy it, it looks. It, it can look real rosy in a picture. Hello. But God knows the real situation. And many times we, we look at these people that are not saved and we're like, God, well, how are they so blessed? Why do they have, why do, they have so much? And, and it seems like, like the devil just mocking us. And, and it is. The devil is lying to us in our minds saying, look at you. you. You serve God all your life and you have nothing. You, 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 don't, you don't have this. You don't have that. And the devil begins to lie to us. But see, you got to understand that we have something even greater than anything material. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We're not storing up riches here on earth, but we, we, we have a bigger plan in heaven. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We're storing up riches in heaven. So when all is said and done, when we're on those streets of gold and we see our family members again, then, then you'll see the big picture. See, life, 
And we're all, our life on this earth is only the beginning. When we die, eternity only starts. You hear what I'm saying? We have eternity to look forward to. What's wrong? <laughs> Sorry, it's wrong. Can we get some water? Is there water over there? Hallelujah. I hope I'm breaking it down all right. And I, and I, and I can feel that. I, I can relate to that. Because I, look at life's, I look at the life of King David. He's one of my favorite in the Bible. From a young shepherd boy, uh, an unlikely source. The unlikely source, you know, and that's what I love about God. He, he uses the unlikely people, you know. When I was in school, like I always say it, I was in the special classes. <laughs> I, was in the, I, I was in the best, right? But, like, I knew God could still use me. Are you hear what I'm saying? I, I knew that even though my, I didn't have the best grades, I knew that God had a plan for me. And that's the, that's the great, God uses the most unlikely. And you, and you look at David, it took over 14 years from when David got a promise from God. And sometimes you, you could be here tonight. And you're, you're still waiting on your promise. You say, God, you give me this promise, but when, when is it going to happen? Even with all this coronavirus, are we going to make it out of the coronavirus? Let me tell you something. God knows the future. God knows what's going to happen 20 years from now. He knows what's going to happen next year. And if he gives you a promise, he plans to see it through. God will never create hope in you. God will never give you a promise unless he plans to see it through. And sometimes we lose sight of that. We, 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 we get so tunnel vision that we're only looking at the here and now. But God God sees way down the line. God sees the next thousand years. I hear what I'm saying. He sees down the line. And we got to put our faith in that and our hope in that. If God gave you a word, if he gave you a promise, maybe for that loved one, maybe for that, for that, 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 that son or that daughter, he give you a promise, he's going to see it through. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And you got to understand that death is not the end for God. We have eternity to look forward to. So that God's word gives us, gives us life. Even though we can't see it, like, like I said, Sometimes, like when you're in the situation, it might not happen right away. It didn't happen. It didn't happen for King David right away. Fourteen years. It didn't happen for Joseph right away. Fifteen years, and, and it might not happen for you right away. Some, some some Christians, it might happen right away for. But God has a plan for everybody, Amen. And but He's giving you that promise. He plans to see it through. Are you still with me? See, we gotta understand that this word is is living. It's active in Hebrews four twelve. For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even the, the division of soul and spirit and of joints and marrow, and it discerns the thoughts and intents of the heart. That's, that's what the word of God does. See, what, what doctors can't do, doctors can, can deal with the, with, with the body. They can probably fix it up, you know, like my shoulder. I dislocated it yesterday <laughs> again. I dislocated when I was in Ireland. I was playing soccer like three days before we came to, to um Coming back to back to the states here to America, I uh, fell. I got tackled. One of my friends was behind me. And I tripped over and I put my arm out and it popped out. And that was like two years ago, right? It was nearly two years ago, right? It seems like only yesterday. <laughs> and and doctors, they can fix you up. They put it back in, you know. But it's, it's still popping out. But I know God. I'm believing God for a healing. I'm declaring it. Amen. See, the the word of the Lord it goes even deeper than just our physical bodies. It goes to the very soul. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because believe it or not, if you want to believe it or not, you have a soul. And what we do in this life is going to determine where our soul ends up, you know. And it's, it's, it's scary to think about, but as long as we have faith in Jesus Christ and we know, we know where we're going. We, 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 we don't mourn like, 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 like people that don't know. We know the truth. And we know that when all is said and done, we're going to live a life, an eternal life in, in heaven and in paradise with him. Just like that, that thief on the cross when he's told the Lord, remember me, remember me. And sometimes we got, that's what, that's what this writer is saying here. Remember, Lord, remember me. Remember your word. Remember what you gave me. Remember what you told me. Sometimes we, 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 in the middle of the night when you're going through it, when you're battling in your mind, when you can't, when you can't sleep and all, and all kinds of chaos is going on, so you, you got you to break out the word and begin to remember what God's done for you. Begin to remember the promises he gave you. Begin, be, re, begin to remember and stand on it. And sometimes that's why situations hit us because God's trying to get our attention and remember I gave you that promise. I'm going to see it through. Are you still with me? I unlock the iPad. Let the, let the word do its work. In 1 Peter 1.23, having been born again, not of a corrupt, corruptible seed, but an incorruptible through the word of God, which lives and abides forever. See, you getting saved, you, you receiving the Lord, it's only the start of what God wants to do. It's only the beginning. When you receive him, it's, it's, it's only the start. But there's, a whole, 
There's a process. God, it's like God has you on that table, right? And, and, he, and he, he'll bring situations because he's, he, he, he wants to get stuff out of you. He, he, he wants to mold you. He wants to shape you into that person that he's called you to be. And when you're in that situation, sometimes you can't see. Well, God, why, 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 do you, why, why is it like this? Why does it got to be like this? Why, 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 why can't everything just be perfect? Because you're a perfect God, Lord. Why, why, why can't it all be perfect? And, but see, God has a plan. Sometimes we've got to go through stuff. We can't see why. Or hear me. But we go through those things so we can sometimes, by the word of our testimony, how we overcame it with the, with the power of Christ, that we can be that testimony to, to another family or, or, or another person that's going through the same thing. You know, like, I could, like now that I've got my shoulder dislocated, I can testify to the pain of it. Hello. I can testify to how much it hurts when you, when, when, when you do it. I didn't want to have to go through that, but now I know when somebody else is going through that, how much it hurts. And sometimes we got to go through this stuff. And, it, and, and it's all for the sake of maybe somebody that gets saved. Maybe somebody receives the Lord through the power of your testimony. And that's, and that's, why we, that's how we overcome. And that's how we, people get saved by the word of our testimony, by, by preaching the word of God to others. I don't even know I'll get off my notes now. Because I, but just remember that God has a, a message for you, or a plan for you, a purpose for you. And the third thing it does here, you can see, <clears throat> I remember your ancient laws, the Lord. And we refer to law, laws here like the Mosaic law, but we're talking now we're talking about God gives us a set of convictions, you know, stuff that we that, that we can no longer do that we did before we got saved. Because getting saved is only the start. You know, you say the prayer, you know, but it, the, the change doesn't happen right away. I mean, it, it begins to happen, but there's little things that they, they, they got somebody to take out of us, like 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 a lot of us like to speak French. Hello. <laughs> Those four-letter words. They don't say be, before we were saved. Like I, I, I didn't have a problem cursing, but I know guys that 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 that, that like, I never really cursed. I know guys that came into the church and they would curse. Like every other word was a curse word, right? And um, and like when you get saved, because the, God wants to change your vocabulary. God, God no longer wants you to talk like because God, God wants you to talk like a, a son and daughter of the Most High. And sometimes it's hard because it's the it's the first thing we think about, even when we get angry. Hello, and God wants to change us. Change, change, change. He. he what it says, he transforms, renewing our minds, take, taking out that old man, that old person, and making us into a new person. You know, even the way we thought, we no longer think that way. Are you hearing me? Mm-hmm. You know, I remember my dad, my, 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 my dad um, 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 sharing before and, and saying that he went to the church. And he looked around, everybody was happy. He thought everybody was getting high at the church, you know, because he said, How, well, what's going on in this church, you know? Because that, 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 that's, the, that's the natural way of thinking, you know, like, wait a minute. It, why are they so happy? They got to be high. They got to be out something, right? He's out something. That guy's out something. He he can't naturally be that high, that, that happy, right? But see, not understanding that the, the what the word of God does, and, and God gives you that joy, that that peace that surpasses all understanding, you know. And that's that that's that that that, that process of sanctification that, that 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 God brings. When we say the prayer, now He begins to work on our lives, and He bring, He'll bring up circumstances and bring up things, you know. He not not to harm you. No, He, he God will never bring a, a, a hurt or harm upon you or, 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 or to destroy you that's the devil that's always from the devil you can look at job jo- it was the devil that was bringing all that all that stuff god allowed it but it, it was it, it was it was the devil that went to, to, to god and it, it, even in the bad times though remember when job, job's wife told him to curse god and die and job said well, should i just take the good from god and not the bad we got to we got to give god the praise in all circumstances yeah. and you even look at the life of paul when he was in prison so we only, she, he was in prison. I've I never been there. My, my, my mom and dad were there. My dad shared about it, that he was, that they seen it. He was, at the, he was at the bottom of the dungeon and all the waste from every, every other prisoner, all the, all the little burritos, all the deposits, hello, came down. I know you think of it like that, all the, all the corn. <laughs> ah. and, and you know what Paul wrote in his, in, his, in his letters? He said, rejoice. And again, I say rejoice, but not in himself, in the Lord. In all circumstances, and that's what the and that, that's what it gives you. It gives you that conviction. So you know what? I didn't do this. You know, even even when you when when, when something good happens, or you say, look at look, look at the, uh, what I built. I have, we have this, me and my friend have this joke. Like I built this temple. It's out of this film called Dodgeball. I built this temple. I've done this. You know, the guy he says that he thinks he's he's a, he's a strong guy. You know, I built this temple, but it's a joke because we know we didn't do this. God did this, and in all those circumstances, through everything, you got to give God the glory and give God the honor. Are you hearing what I'm saying? For those little things, come on. Some of us forget, you know. Even even every night that we eat, we gotta give. That's why we we say prayers before we eat. We give God thanks, you know. We give you God, God thanks for because it can come so natural for us just to go and buy a sandwich or buy a bar of chocolate and just eat it, right? 
but we got to give God thanks for even providing that bar. Even though we had the money to pay for it, God provided the, the means for us to get that, that food. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So it becomes a conviction. It becomes a, 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 a change of mind. Whoops. The way we God transforms our minds, and I can't unlock this iPad. Hallelujah. That's why we, my cousin Frankie said, don't use an iPad. He said, don't use an iPad. He said, preacher don't sell. <laughs> he said, iPad, you can't rely on it. And he's right. He told me that the other day. He said, I wouldn't use an iPad. I'll print my notes out. I wish I had to. I, my printer's out of ink. <laughs> see, God gives you the co- conviction, you know. And you see here, the, um, I remember your, in verse 52, I remember your ancient laws, O Lord, and I find comfort in them. Indignation grips me. And see, indignation grips me. And in, in some, in some things you might say, like, you, you get angry sometimes, you know. And it happens. We get angry. Like, God, like I, I could imagine, like, you know, it's, it's not even said, there's not a bad thing said about Joseph, but I could imagine Joseph, after being locked up for a crime that he didn't commit, come on, like all the guys that we know that went to prison, hello, <laughs> I didn't do it, I'm innocent. But he was literally, he was really innocent, he didn't do it, right? And getting kind of angry, you know, and we, and, we, and we get angry sometimes. Some nights we're crying, and we get angry, and it, and it grips us. It, it, it's like, man, you know, like, why, why is this happening, Lord, why, whoa, you know, this, this corona we, we, and some of us, we know even people that have been affected by this this virus. And, it, and, and we can get angry at God, you know, when, when we lose a family member, when, when things happen. But you got to remember that death is not the end. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We, we, we don't even know in those last moments, what, what, God could have took that family member because he, he wanted them to be at peace with him. There was too much pain in this, in this earth. You know what I'm saying? God's a loving God. He's a caring God. And, I, and when we know that, that through it all, God has our best interest at hand. You know, even at those times we can't see it, God has our best interest at hand. So whether in the good times or the bad times, just just praise Him. Just give God the glory, amen? Because every day that we're here is a gift from Him. And, and, and that's what brings my next thing. Look, God's, um, it, it gives, gives comfort. You see here, <clears throat> it says, um, in 32 again, I remember your ancient laws, O Lord, and I find comfort in them. You, you, the, the, the world, Lord, you know, like we look for comfort many times in food. I know I do. I that's why I'm so skinny, right? <laughs> but we look for it in food, or we look for it in that TV show. We turn our TV show on. We don't even watch it. We just we just like to have noise in the background, you know. Uh, some of you know what I'm talking about because it's in the silence. It's in those in, in those silent times. We don't like silence, right? Even it's, that's why it's getting so hard now. You, you hear all this stuff going on with people being at home and stuff because people don't like to be with their own thoughts, you know. And it's in those times that we need to be seeking God because and, and those, when those thoughts come, we need to be getting closer to God. Let him transform our minds. Let him take, take those thoughts that we shouldn't be thinking. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And many times, because we, 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 we don't rely on God, we don't find the comfort that he, that, he, that he has for us. But his word will give you comfort. He's the, he's the great comforter. Are you hearing me? Like, like Oprah and, and Dr. Phil, they can't comfort you. you know? I always say that because people look for it on TV. They look for it on the Internet. They look for it on Facebook. They look for it on Instagram and for those things to comfort you. And they're not going to bring you peace. Not gonna, you're going to get off. You're going you're gonna to get off Facebook and you're going to get off Instagram more messed up than, than when you first went on it, right? You know. But the only things that give you comfort, it, it, even sometimes you, you just got to listen. You got to listen to worship music. Put on the put on. We, Donna puts on the, the YouTube all the time, and we, we listen to worship music. We just sit there, and, and that's it. Gives us that peace because we're we're, we're speaking life into the situation. You know. All those songs that we sing, we don't just sing because they have they, they sound good. But they, if you listen to the lyrics, like what's the song? Um, he turns graves into he, he turns graves into gardens. What else was the next verse? He turns mourning into dancing. When do you hear that in the in, in this world? You, you turn shame into glory. You know all your shame. You turn what? He sees into highways. He knocks those mountains down. Are you hearing me? And that's why we sing those songs because they give us that comfort. You know, they, they give us that peace. I'm not, I'm not, it's, it's true. Just try it. Maybe you're, you're you're going through something right now, and you're battling, and you, and you say, I want, I, want, I want that comfort. I want that peace. Start, start, start to read God's word. Start to listen to some worship music. Take, take, turn, turn Tupac off. Tupac's gone. His, his music is going to help you. Hello. <laughs> uh, a lot of those songs. Uh, and it's funny because we, we, we put the wordy music on. You know, like, I, I, I like music. I listen, I listen to all kinds of music, you know. And uh, but there's some music that you just can't listen to because it'll mess you up. <laughs> Hello, 
Uh, I remember a, fr- a friend of mine used to listen to rap music. And next thing you know, he thought he was, he thought he was, I don't know who he thought he was. He ready, he ready to go take the world on. Hello. <laughs> and not in a good way. I was like, man, you need to turn that stuff off. It's not, it's not helping you. You know? The only way you're going to find peace and comfort is, is through, the, through the word of God. And that's what he, and that's what that's what Jesus is. He's the great comforter. You know, he comforts those that seek him. And the last thing, God's word gives gives me malady. You see here, in verse fifty five. And, and in the night, I remember your name, O Lord. I will keep your law. This has been my practice. Oh, sorry, before that, fifty four. Your decrees are my theme theme of my songs. That's what God's word gives you. It gives you that. It gives you that malady. Hello, it gives you that, that that song. Even if you, I, I, I can't sing the best. I have Donna sing all the time. You know, you guys can't see her. She's off camera, right tonight. I have her sing. I, I wish I could sing like her. I'll be singing all day long. Hello. <laughs> but it does. God's word, like even when you can't sing, it gives you a melody. Hello. It gives you that joy that surpasses understanding. You know, even when the world's go, when, when chaos is going on, and you're like, it's all crazy. You know, you watch the news. You watch all this. The, 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 um, the um, CNN and, and this and then you find out you go on Twitter and they're all everybody's lying and you're like man what, what's really going on but at times like this is when we can really trust and put our faith in, in God and I believe that's what God is doing through this all he's he's calling his children back to him you know we don't know we, people are saying it's the end of the world it's this it's that we don't know we don't even need to know we need to just trust God through it all we need to just put our faith in him through these times and even those for the, that, that, that are with, have anxiety and depression that are struggling, you know, let, let, let God be your song. Let God give you that joy, that peace that surpasses all understanding. And he will. He tell you, he never lets, he never let me down my whole life. I've been serving him. I've been trusting him. I've had bad, I've had good times. We, we say, we, my dad always says it's either a feast or a famine. <laughs> We've had famines or we, we had feast. But through it all, God's faithful, you know. Whether I have a lot or, or, or nothing, he's, God's good. You know, whether my shoulder is dislocated, <laughs> it hurts, it hurts so much, but hey, God's good through it all. You know what they say? They say, shoe or no shoe, I'm going to serve God. Amen. So I, just, I hope you're blessed with that message tonight. You know, whatever you're going through, whatever you're faced with, whatever is keeping you up at night, whatever anxieties you have, whatever pain you have, give it to God. Leave it in his hands. He's the master. He's the author. You know, and even if well, whatever happens, it, it, every day is a gift. You got to just take, take it as every day is a gift. You know, and wh- wherever comes our way, this is not the, this life is only a small taste of what it's going to be like when, when, we, when we graduate and go to heaven, you know. And all those loved ones that we lost along the way, we're going to see them again. That's the hope we hold on to. That's the faith, amen. So find comfort in that, knowing that, that it's, this is not just some fairy tale, not something just made up. This is, this is real. God is real, and he loves you. You're a child of God. He loves you more than anything in this world. The way we have love for our children he loves us. Like, he, he, we can't begin to imagine. He created everything. And he made you special. He made you unique. And he has a plan. He has a purpose for you. Hold on to that. Don't let anxiety or depression or all these thoughts hit you. Hit you. Just know that you're loved by the Most High King. He's your Father. He's going to take care of you. He's going to see you through all of this. Amen. So in saying that, I just want to tell you we love you. We thank you. I don't know if Pastor Andy wants to close. Pastor Senior, here he comes. <laughs> he wants to break it down. <laughs> You know, but um, just just be blessed this week, amen. And then I will see you on um, on when Sunday, Sunday ten thirty. He's gonna break it down. I love you guys. I'll see you guys then. Can you sing a song? Too? Yeah. Can you sing a song? Praise God. Well, God bless you tonight. Again, don't uh, don't forget this Sunday at ten thirty. We sharing the word of God and having a good time with the Lord and so on. And in saying that, uh, we just want to thank all those watching tonight uh, via internet live streaming. And uh, we're so blessed. Uh, we're hoping for Sunday to have uh, some testimony, a couple of testimonies or something. And if you have a prayer request, send it before this before tomorrow night, tomorrow evening, and we'll put it up on the screen so we can see it, and then we can pray for you tomorrow too. So send your prayer requests in, and uh, we love you, and we thank you, and have a blessed night, and we're going to worship the Lord. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs>
there is a God, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, who loves you. That's why we sing this. of praise amen i love you all amen i don't know who's, who's who's left watching but i love you guys i can't see who's commenting everybody any names take a shout out helena i love you karen we love you nina we love you church we love you everybody we love you guys if my if my cousin frankie pastor frankie's watching i love you hello i love you so much amen and we'll see you guys on sunday love you guys <laughs> in the church we love you guys